I wasn't that excited about Joe Biden's campaign, but this really does change everything. This is from The Verge. Biden campaign launches official Animal Crossing New Horizons yard signs. It's the campaign's latest foray into online organizing. Well, sir, now I am enthusiastic about Joe Biden's campaign. Um, listen, as someone who put more than 200 hours into Animal Crossing New Horizons, let me just say that um, if I was visiting somebody's island and I saw a Joe Biden yard sign, I'd think, what a clown. <laughs> Just being honest. How effective is this? Like, if you create, like, MAGA hats for your characters to wear, or some sort of, like, flag that says Joe Biden, like, why waste your time? This is a game you're supposed to, like, try to escape reality. Um, so, like, this, this, as an Animal Crossing player myself... Uh, wouldn't necessarily encourage me to be more enthusiastic about any political campaign because when I'm in Animal Crossing, I am, you know, living on my own island in, in my own world where all of the bullshit that, you know, I don't want to be reminded of kind of just like fades into the background. But, you know, what makes this story particularly bad is that they're actually thinking that this is going to be a real strategy. When I saw this and I saw the picture, I thought, okay, you know, that's fine. Like, this isn't as bad as Hillary's Pokemon go to the polls moment because they're just kind of doing this to be like tongue in cheek. But they literally, according to the campaign, think this is going to be conducive to like spreading the message. I don't know why they believe that, but nonetheless... Here's what McKenna Kelly of The Verge writes. Starting today, September 1st, Animal Crossing New Horizons players will be able to deck out their island homes with official Joe Biden yard signs as part of the campaign's broader initiative to organize voters online this fall. Since the start of the coronavirus outbreak in the U.S. earlier this year, campaigns like Biden's have been forced to entirely rethink how they organize voters. Instead of in-person rallies, Biden's team has opted for live-streamed events and fundraisers along with socially distanced productions and interviews. The entire Democratic National Convention was held virtually earlier this month, with most guests streaming in over video software like Zoom to deliver speeches. The Biden-Harris campaign released four signed designs for players to download, featuring the official Biden-Harris logo, Team Joe logo, the Joe Pride logo, and an image of aviator sunglasses shaded in red, white, and blue. <laughs> Players will be able to access the designs in-game by scanning the design QR codes through the Nintendo Switch Online app. Millions of people have picked up Animal Crossing New Horizons since its initial release in March, and the Biden campaign is hoping to engage that large base with their new merch. Animal Crossing is a dynamic, diverse, and powerful platform that brings communities together from across the world. It is an exciting new opportunity for our campaign to engage and connect Biden-Harris supporters as they build and decorate their islands, Christian Tom, director of digital partnerships for the Biden campaign, said in a statement to The Verge. As we enter the final campaign stretch towards November, this is one way we are finding new, creative, and innovative ways to meet voters where they are and bring our supporters together. As part of the Biden-Harris campaign's plans to get the signs in front of voters, the team is seeding the designs with a handful of gaming influencers who will be sharing their gameplay with the merch throughout the day on Tuesday. This is just the start of how we plan to engage players ahead of November, as we're already looking forward to rolling out more digital swag, voter education tools, and and organizing efforts on Animal Crossing and other platforms, Tom said. Dude, just give us Medicare for all. <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't have to do all of this. Just give us health care. Give us something. Talk about the policies that you have that are good. I mean, I think he supports a $15 minimum wage. It's on his platform, on his website, but he's not talking about it. Like, what do you expect this to produce? If somebody sees a Biden yard sign in the island of the influencer that you're watching, is that going to make them more inclined to like get out and vote for Joe Biden? Like, what are you expecting? They call this a communication tool that's effective. Like, really? It's Animal Crossing. You could have eight players on an island at once. So, I mean, I guess that if someone is streaming their gameplay and a lot of people see the Joe Biden sign, you know, that's one way to get the message out. But how is that going to translate into votes? How many people will actually be encouraged to get out and vote because of this? The answer is zero. Zero. This isn't going to change anything. And, you know, you can make the case that this, it's harmless, it's not going to hurt, but I think it could have the potential to hurt Biden more than anything because it comes off as disingenuous pandering. We get it. They want to appeal to young voters. You know, enthusiasm among the youth is low. 
But you do that with policy, not by pandering to them. Hillary Clinton should have taught us that young voters respond to policy, not pandering. So when you hello fellow kids us to death, what do you expect that to produce? It's not going to translate into votes. So it's just like people are going to see that he's more out of touch by doing this. Whoever is getting paid to like orchestrate this strategy, it's embarrassing. Like if something like this were to emerge organically, that would be a story that I think wouldn't be harmful. But the fact that they're like trying to drum up support in Animal Crossing as if that's going to make young people excited, it's just, it's insulting, it's embarrassing, it comes off as disingenuous. Um, now, I will say that if they created Fall Guys costumes and we had a Joe uh, Kamala costume of some sort, I don't know what that would look like in Fall Guys, if I saw that, I would be excited. To run up to that per person and uh, push them off of the platform that they're standing on. <laughs> like, it just... I don't... I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know what they're thinking. If Bernie tried to do this, I would make fun of him. <sighs> we just want healthcare. Just give us healthcare. 